For practice it, self check 6.17 print entire file. We are asked to write a method called print entire file. This is going to be public static void. And it will prompt the user for a file name and print the contents of the file to the console as output. So we need to prompt the user for this to type in a file name. We'll have a system.out.print. And it's going to be just print and not print line because we are getting this um, input on this line. To get the input, we're going to need a scanner. We'll have a scanner scan and we'll set this equal to new scanner. And since this is input, we have to write this inside of our new scanner as system.in. And we can store this input as a um, string right here. We can store this as a string. So we'll do string name and we'll set this equal to scan dot next or we can do scan dot next line. Um, since we're reading in a file right here, we should throw a um, file not found exception. This is going to be in any method that requires a file to be read in. I think I spelled that wrong. Not great at spelling. But um, after we have that, we have our file name stored in here. And now we just need to scan this file in. So we will have a new scanner. And we'll call it read since it's reading in this file. And we'll set it equal to new scanner. And we'll just have the name of our file. And then we'll have a while loop to go through all of the texts in our file. We'll have a boolean in our while loop, and it'll be while read dot has next line. We are going to be in our while loop, and we can just system dot out dot print line, and we can print our read dot next next line that way we print out all of these lines so what we're doing is we are first um, creating a scanner for input we get the input and store it in name then we read this um, input as a file and this is this is an error right here um, instead of just having it name it should be new file with a name inside of that because um, it scans a file and then we have to have the file name in our new file and then while our file has a next line, we are just going to print out that next line here. And we have an error. So in our error, we first need to correct this. And I think it says that we may assume that the file exists. So maybe we don't need this. And turns out we do need that. So we can just write it back, throw file not found exception. I might have spelt it wrong again. Should be throws. And after I spelled it right and put throws in here, we have passed the tests. There's a simpler way to write this. In fact, instead of having a string name equal to scan.next line, we can actually take this out and just put scan.next line inside of the new file. So we can cut this and paste it in here and get rid of these lines. We can submit it and see that it still works. So this is the code that will give us this output.